Thank you for joining me for this video series. It is one that I've been wanting to make for a very long time and I finally got round to doing it. Okay, so far we've been thinking about acceptance tests as a replacement for the UI tests. First, we have unit tests, and then we have bigger unit tests, which are testing the behavior of the code from the viewpoint of the developer writing it. We also want these tests to contribute to the uh, intellectual effort of writing software, and less a mechanical effort of automating a computer that's gonna check our work. It's expecting the value to get changed, but it's not expecting that value to also be pushed down onto the stack. Writing detailed acceptance criteria in these meetings is an inefficient place to do it, and so it's best avoided. For low-level detailed issues down in the foundations, I wouldn't expect to see that kind of problem detailed here. A critical difference is BDD places a higher emphasis on the how of facilitating the conversations between technical and business people. We're gonna multiply again, so that's the X for multiply. And uh, someone help me out, what, what should we see on the display? This is how the outside world, our user, will send us events to our internal business objects. Without any further ado, I'd invite you to join me and a couple of friends as we get into the wonderful and mysterious world of acceptance testing.